It's your boy Quan Robinson back at you again with another video and today we are about to be getting into the serious blitz and the bit nickel over G. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. So the play that we are gonna be in is the cover one hole. And I'm gonna just go just like I always do. Uh go to a random deep pass. And before uh Oh my goodness, they ran it so fast. But before I set, I mean, uh, set this play up, I just want to thank you guys for um, all the subs I got recently. I got um, 80 subs, I think, and I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I just appreciate you for that. But uh, I'm gonna get into adjustments. It might not work since I just moved the linebacker, so maybe if I reset it. Uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to blitz all linebackers. And that's right on the D-pad and uh, down on the right stick. But then you want to show blitz. And down, then after that, usually one of the linebackers will drop down, but they don't always do. So what you want to do is continually press until both of the linebackers come down. Like right now, that linebacker right here isn't going to come down because I touched them. So I'm going to just run it in and show you guys after that. And then you want to spread your D-line and not that. You want to make a blitz thing just so you are, uh, interact with the uh, offense alignment. But after you interact with the offense alignment, you can run straight off since you have a safety. And as you can see, it got straight in and I didn't even do the adjustments all the way. So you want to blitz all linebackers. You want to show blitz. See, both of the linebackers came down this time. You want to spread. I mean, you want to crash your D-line out. And you want to play over the top. And you want to blitz your own self. Just like this, so you interact with the lineman. And after that, you just want to run back and cover a user. Just like that. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm bringing that heat. I'm a, hey, y'all stick with me, man. We we on the road to 1K, man. I'm telling y'all. We making some good plays out here. I appreciate every single one of y'all for real, man. Just for um supporting me, believing in me, man. That means a lot. So we're going to blitz all linebackers. We're going to show blitz. And this is what I was saying. You see how the linebacker is still over there? You want to press. See, as soon as you press, he goes straight down the gap. You want to crash out your D-line. And then after that, you want to blitz your own self. And after that, you just want to run back and use her. And you want to play over the top. <clears throat> Here we go. That time, they got it off. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it fast for y'all, so y'all can see how fast you can set it up. So, bam, 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 bam. As you can see, instant pressure, man. Instant pressure, man. Hey, this this for you, Duncan D. Duncan D. Had said my place was trash, man. Hey, y'all better go tell him, tell him something else, man. Y'all better go tell him he need to hit that sub button. You better stop playing, man. Just like that. Don't don't forget to play over the top because you will get burnt. Really how fast the blitz gets in. You don't really have that much time to honestly get burnt the way how fast this play happens. So, like I was saying, you want to blitz all linebackers. You want to show blitz. You want to continually press until both linebackers go into the gap. You want to spread your, uh, crash your D-line out, and you want to blitz yourself into this gap, the middle gap right here. And uh, then you want, like, you automatically going to interact with the offensive line the way that you already made yourself blitz. So you're just going to run back. Bam, I'm telling you, man. If the computer can't get it off, the uh, opponent, yeah, opponent definitely isn't going to get it off. Just like that, over the top, quick adjustments, man, quick adjustments. Bam, interact. The reason he even got that off is because my D-line ran, like, completely around him. Let me go back to the replay so I can show you guys. He ran, like, what? what is he doing? Like, he's, all, I, I don't even know, man. This Madden is wild. But y'all can see the blitz is nasty, man. And like all uh, my other videos, you can implement this type of stuff into the uh, formation like this. Add some coverage out there. 
And this is the coverage aspect. If you guys want to run it like this. Only thing about man to man, you can get beat on wheel routes a lot of the time. So I try to mix in a lot of zone with it. Just the way this Madden works, because if somebody has an ability, or if they just hit you with wheel route, is that's basically it. And with man coverage, with this cover one hole, I play to the outside, and I, I just watch the middle just to help with corner routes a little bit. If the if your opponent has somebody with ability, it's still gonna get beat. That's why if you're playing somebody with like. Uh, ability with a receiver just stick to zone coverage unless they're not really like targeting their person like that as you can see like that should have been a user pick and then um the other coverage play out of this that you could use too i made a uh, video i think yesterday on it so you can go check that out if you want to go check that out is the uh cover two contain and i'll just go to Round deep pass. You just want base line. You want to make your middle line back. You want a deep blue. You want to spread your D line. You want to play over the top. That's all you want to do. And then you just want to use your, your side of the field. And I suggest you don't have to. Having a safety right here just so you can like kind of go wherever you need to because a linebacker is kind of going to hinder you way user in a little bit. And you just use it your side. And look, everything's locked up. That little underneath stuff, that that's not squat. That's up some foolishness like that happened with EA. But I'll show you the adjustments one more time. Base align, spread your D line to get that extra pressure. You want to make the uh, the linebacker over the DT going to a deep blue, and you want to play over the top. And this is basically all of the things that you can implement. That time they made me get dotted. But this is like all the stuff you can implement out the bit nickel over G that you can just mix it up with. And uh, that's that's basically it for the video. I run this play one more time so y'all can see. This is mainly if you want to uh, keep your opponent from picking up like a big amount of yards. But. Hey, on practice mode, the computer goes savage on you. Hey, let, let's see if we can get a pick real quick. Let's let's see if we can do that. Let's. We might can't the way the computer is doing us right now, like having us get caught on and stuff. But. Man, like Adams is killing like the secondary right now. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can get something going real quick. Yeah, I, I think that's it for the video, y'all. Look, look, look how they doing us. Look how they doing us. Another play you can use, too, is the cover four palms. I guess I'll show you that to y'all since they're dotting me up anyway really quick. And what I usually do with the, uh, well, not a cover four palms, cover four quarters. I usually sub somebody, like, fast right here. I'm not really sure about the Cowboys, who they have. That's kind of fast, so... Uh, I'm assume uh, Gregory kind of fast. I'm assume, but he probably not. So what I do with a cover four quarters? Show you guys real quick. I base along. Actually, if I know they're passing, I don't base along. Just so the linebacker has a better opportunity on corner routes. And what I do is spread my D line just like this. And I use it with Gregory because this yellow, he he does a matching concept. And when you use it with him, it kind of screws up like everything in a way. Like you see how he he was like matching. And the cover four quarters is actually a pretty good pass defense. It can get beat if you're playing somebody that's like elite. Because the way the uh, matching concepts work, if you have like like slants and stuff like intertwining and like have like a couple streets it can get you like one play touchdown but what i noticed from playing so many people that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with uh cover four quarters but um that's all i want to show you guys i'll show you the adjustments one more time you just want base line. you don't always have to base line, but if there's a running back in the uh, backfield i suggest you do that and crash your D-line out. You can, like, slide your linebackers to that side, like I was saying. Just to get your uh, linebacker more leverage on corner routes. 
And that's that's basically the adjustments for this play. It's not too many adjustments. Uh, see, that's what I was saying with the matching concepts. Like, I don't know if you saw. That was a, a post route that was running wide open. That's why you want to mix all these plays in. But uh, that concludes the video, you guys. I appreciate every one of you that subscribed. And we on that road to 1K, man. We at 80 right now. 80-something. So, hey. Why, why we can't hit a thousand by December, man? I, hey, I got my hopes up. I appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all hit that like button too, man. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.